Hey Queens, I hope you guys are having a great day. I know things are very different right now for a lot of people. And I know for myself, it's been really hard to stay at home just because I'm so used to go, go, go. I'm so busy all the time. I'm never in one place very long. Even at home, I go home to pack, repack and leave. So I know it's a huge adjust adjustment, but it's really important that we stay home and that we do the things that we can to help so in that time, I think it's really important to stay positive. And one of the things that I've done to do that is think about things that make me happy and things that bring me joy. And I was looking through my phone at some of my favorite times last year. And that probably one of the top five things was Dixieland. So I wanna take you guys back down memory lane with me and we're gonna go through that whole pageant. We always have a lot of girls that go to Dixieland and this year specifically we had a really good roster on Camprey's court that went. So I'm going to take you guys through all the girls that went. Okay, so Hallie is the first one I wanna talk about. And the reason Dixieland was such a big weekend for her is because she got all new everything. New clothes, new routines. The dress specifically was the one thing that I was really worried about. We were really worried that it was gonna fit and that she was gonna model it well because she's never tried it on before. So she's literally gonna get it and wear it on stage the next day. Hallie is so good at just like rolling with whatever's thrown at her. So no matter what happens, I know she'll perform well. So I'm really not too worried about that. Um, and then she has a new outfit of choice and a new outfit, which I'm really excited about. And it's really her style because it's very sharp and cheer-esque, if you will. So I know she'll do really well with that, but mainly the dress we were worried about. Um, I'm gonna wait and let you guys see how that went. And the other girl I wanna talk about is Tiana. So Tiana's been to Dixieland quite a few times. The first time she went, I wanna say she was six and she won a face title. I mean, Tiana's always been drop dead gorgeous, but when she was younger, her modeling wasn't quite up to par with some of the other girls. So she would always get face titles, but now she's total package. She can model, she's beautiful, she's got a great body, she has the personality. So I'm really hoping that she does well this weekend because I've just seen her go year after year after year. And last year, the judges told us that her dress wasn't pageanty enough. I personally like Tiana very simple. I always put her in just like off the rack dresses or something with no stones because I just think it looks better on her. She's just so pretty to me that she doesn't need all that but that's what hurt her last year. So we're gonna fix that. We're coming with a custom Sherry Hill dress. We're not messing around. So you guys stay tuned and see what happens with that. Um, some of the other things that I'm really excited about this weekend is Reese is doing her Mario with all the props and that routine is just amazing and Reese hits it so well. Every time she's right on the music, it's just perfect for her. I love the part where she grows, it's so cute. Um, the other thing is Abigail is bringing back her Indian outfit of choice that she hasn't done for a while So I'm a little bit I was like a little bit nervous about that, but actually her Indian beat her bird Which hasn't happened for a while. So that was kind of crazy <laughs> um, This is Natasha's first big pageant. So there's there's a lot of things that are happening that happened. There's a lot of things that happened the weekend of Dixieland that were new. And of course me as their coach was really nervous about, but everything turned out good. So that was awesome. So Hallie did have a fumble and Hallie always keeps it together. And she's so good about if something goes wrong, she just recovers and it doesn't bother her. So when she was really bothered about busting her tuck in Janet, it totally broke my heart. But of course I have to like play it off because she still has to go to the next event. So I just act like, oh, it's not a big deal. You'll be fine. But it really did break my heart to see her sad about that um, because she's just so good about recovering and just performing. Like she's honestly just a performer. Hallie 
will perform anything that you give her. And that's why it's so fun giving her new routines because she always executes them the way that I see it in my head. And if she doesn't, then she blows me away. It's even better than I expected. So that, that kind of threw me off and I know it threw her off, but she got through it. So Tiana can tumble and Tiana can dance and do all those things that, you know, everybody does for outfit of choice. But again, I like her more simple. So we did the gold digger outfit of choice and I think she did a really good job with it. It's just if the judges like it that weekend. I'm so glad that you guys could come along with us at Dixieland. I know it's been a while, but it's been so busy and nonstop go, go, go. So I'm really glad that we actually got to go back and you guys could experience that with us. I was so happy Tiana won. She's been working for so long to win this pageant. She finally did. The only sad thing is now she can never do it again. So that is really sad. But hopefully next year she'll crown another Cambers Court winner. Now you guys come along with us to the party. It was so much fun. You guys, look at this water park. It's amazing. You guys have to go.
thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I know it brought me a lot of joy to reminisce and think about going to that pageant. And I'm, I really hope that we can go September. I, I really hope things are back to normal by then. But hopefully you guys can come along with us again this year. Stay positive. We love you. And always remember to wear your invisible crown.